one thing I will add three or four H and here also I will change the name and this age also I change to 24 and when I click my update button my value is updated so it is not refreshed because I have haven't inserted my refresh method so let's let it be for now we will run the program once again then you can see the edited values in here and now we will try to edit a decision making tab just click here so you want to edit because we have just taken these three fields so we can just edit these values I will insert here 50,000 and here 5555 five, five, five. and this is the primary key so you cannot change it using update so I just press update so I already told you that this is my primary key so you cannot update this so instead of pump ID we can change or we can take the volume flow from here so take the volume flow text field name and paste it here instead of pump ID because pump IDs are primary key and which cannot be edited and in here we will change instead of pump ID we will change the name volume flow column and just to refresh my table instantly I will copy this update table method which I have shown you earlier so when I press the update you can see the values instantaneously when I will add it and then I will once again try to run the program and try to change the values so this you can see here the update takes place and here because we have inserted the primary key so we now change it to volume flow and now I will try to change the values for example pump ID 7 I will change the value to 2 2 2 3 3 3 3 and 4 4 4 4 and then I will press the update button and you can see that this value has already changed and all the values have changed because I haven't defined for which pump ID I want to change the data so you have to write it here after your update query update user info set volume flow this code where where your pump ID pump ID is equal to so we will define one more table for pump ID here because we are we have to give the name of your pump ID number so which pump ID in which you want to edit your data so write it here pump ID and I will copy here this copy and paste it here this and I will change this the value because my pump ID here is value 4 stored in value 4 so just write where pump ID is equal to 4 
and now I will run the program so for example I want to change the value there for this 10th next field I will name change it as 0 1 and 2 and when I click the update button my values are updated only for this 10th field once again for 9th I want to change the values to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and here 4 so I will press update and you can update the values here yeah, you can see the values are updated I want to update the value for this from the same update button so for example I want to change this 8 employee ID data so I will name it as mark anything mark John for example and I will change his age to 24 and when I press update the value is updated and you can see employee number 8 is updated so in this way you can change or update the value from same button in different tables so I am updating the tables do different tables from a single update button so you can do that so I hope you have learned something new today and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now